Hello and welcome to a very special podcast series celebrating 30 years of German economy in Bulgaria. My name is Irina Bustarova and I will be your host of this exclusive series of the German-Bulgarian Chamber of Industry and Commerce in Bulgaria. In the next episodes, we will talk to the leaders of some of the most prominent German companies. Join us to explore how German companies in Bulgaria have shaped the business climate in the country. This is a story of how trade and economic relations and promoting of culture of close cooperation and trust can improve investment environment and development of society. Now it is my pleasure to introduce you to our first guest. Tim Kurt has been the CEO of Orubis Bulgaria since 2014. He was born in Bremen and graduated from the University of Applied Sciences in Freiburg, Germany. His career started at Unilever and continued at Numico. In 2006, he joined the Norddeutsche Affinerie, now called Aurobis. He occupied various senior managerial positions in the company, including Corporate Innovation Manager of the group and Vice President Corporate Logistics before he became CEO of Aurobis Bulgaria. Mr. Kurt is also two times President of the German-Bulgarian Chamber of Industry and Commerce. Mr. Kurt, welcome to the podcast. Thank you. We did some research on your business success so far. And um, I would like maybe to start with the fact that Orubis is now the biggest company in Bulgaria in terms of revenue. But you have said that the long-term investments of the company, um, that the company are make, is making in, in Bulgaria is much more important than the revenue. And in this sense, can you maybe shed a bit light on the long-term vision of Orubis Bulgaria and how it is aligned with uh, Bulgaria's future economic prospects. Yeah, with pleasure. Um, yeah, first of all, it's absolutely true that, um, let's say, making a race or competition uh, regarding highest revenue or biggest company, this is not our aim because these are just, uh, let's say, short-term effects and uh, doesn't fit really to a long-term strategy. On the other hand, uh, if you do have a long-term strategy, it comes sometimes and with us um, uh, by luck uh, that, that you are becoming also a bigger company and also um, revenue uh, important uh, company, mm. right? Uh, but what is much more important, uh, what you also emphasized in the question, is uh, to have a long-term strategy. Uh, we do not have only a long-term strategy for Aurubis Bulgaria, but also for the entire group Aurubis, right? Mm. So because you cannot uh, run a entity in the group uh, with an own strategy, so it should be always aligned uh, to the uh, central uh, strategy and embedded uh, in the in the overall corporate strategy. Um, so first of all, yeah, this is um, very important for us to have such a uh, such a strategy, um, and uh, being also part of uh, of the strategy and um, and supporting uh, with our activities here in Bulgaria the uh, the strategy uh, of the overall company. Um, what makes it also important is um, that uh, we are long term. Uh, orientated mm -hmm. um, means, uh, as you know, we are in the base industry, so mm -hmm. we are building somehow the base for a lot of uh, activities. We are now uh, hearing um, a lot about the Green Deal, about uh, decarbonization, about um, strengthening uh, um, renewable energy, and so on and so forth. And uh, we do believe that with our non-ferrous metals, mainly here in Bulgaria we are talking about copper, uh, that we are um, that we are part of the solution and we're not that we are part of uh, whatever no kind of problem. Mm -hmm. um, and this makes us um, yeah, also a big contributor, uh, not only internally in our group, but also uh, to the Bulgarian, um, let's say, society, but also to the Bulgarian uh, economical uh, situation. Mm -hmm. And uh, from, from that perspective, um, yeah, I, I just would like to, to emphasize uh, once more again that, uh, that with, with these non-ferrous metals we do believe that, uh, that everything what is planned into the future, um, like smart cities, uh, like uh, investing in electric grids, um, uh, up to um, electric uh, mobility, uh, we are part um, of of, uh, of this development, and uh, we do believe that we have got uh, a certain say um, in uh, supporting uh, all these future uh, appliances. You mentioned before yeah. that your goals in terms of decarbonization 
which leads me actually to my next question, because I, I think that this aspect is very important. So throughout the years, so Ruby's invested over 600 million euro in modernization and infrastructure right. and ecological projects. Um, back in 1999, you have also brought Bulgaria to its um, high standards for operations and uh, doing business. What do you think is the impact of these aspects moving the country forward? Yeah, first of all, um, I mean, these are maybe two questions in, in mm -hmm. one. Uh, coming back to the 600 millions we invested, um, they are for sure investments in, in certain directions, right? So, mm -hmm. um, as I said um, beforehand, uh, base industry, so we have, um, we have also to take care uh, of our plant infrastructure, for example, right? So mm -hmm. we are a kind of small town uh, with, with four big uh, production units, um, with a lot of infrastructure um, around uh, it, and therefore, um, regularly, uh, we have to um, we have to invest uh, also in in infrastructure like uh, like our roads, uh, like our water piping systems, uh, like the electricity grid, and so forth. Um, and uh, this is also eating quite uh, quite some uh, some some money. Uh, but as we are, as I said um, earlier, and uh, sometimes um, uh, and at other places, um, we just came here um, to to stay, right? So it's not mm. a short term investment it's really a long term investment and therefore um, yeah th these these kind of um, these kind of spendings are uh, very important uh, to to have the the foundation of uh, all the uh, other improvements and we, it's are, very we are visible, doing by the way so when when we're driving through the region there it's very impressive how uh, it's like um, yeah, like you're entering a new kind of Bulgaria because it's so much different than other provincial areas that we have in Bulgaria, which are still a bit underdeveloped. I mean, we can be honest about it. And uh, the area where Arubis is, is uh, it's very impressive. <laughs> yeah, thanks for that compliment. But this is not only us. You know that yeah. we have got also uh, other partner companies, uh, mainly, uh, mainly the mines uh, around mm. of us, uh, and they are also contributing a lot. Uh, that uh, life in a region can also be uh, attractive, and we are doing uh, the utmost uh, that, that life uh, stays and uh, will become even uh, more attractive uh, for the citizens uh, mm. who, are, who are living there so that you do not have uh, everyone uh, trying to move out of the regions into the uh, into the capital or into uh, bigger bigger cities uh, but you ask also about the contribution uh, or the effect um, of, of that um, let's say exercise or what we are doing over there in the region yes we do hope uh, that this is giving a kind of good example uh, also to others um, looking um, what we are doing uh, also to our uh, suppliers our partners uh, and also our clients um, so that that uh, all of us all together, uh, we can build, uh, let's say, a better uh, Bulgaria, a better mm -hmm. situation, um, higher standards um, that uh, that uh, most, or we can convince a lot of them to follow also our values. Right? This is something what uh, I think it's a positive effect of companies like Arubis uh, when they are entering, um, um, let's say, a different area, a different region, a different country. Which are the most important values that you um, want to live and, and also promote and uh, defend as, uh, as a company? I mean, first of all, sustainability is uh, is mm -hmm. for sure key over here, and um, uh, you know that uh, that recently also we uh, we have uh, undergone the process uh, of receiving uh, the certificate copper mark, yes. um, where we are um, undergoing I think 32 uh, values, 32 chapters uh, of the UN Charter, uh, which gives uh, not only us, uh, let's say again, the proof uh, that we are. Um, that we are going in the right direction, but uh, this is also giving our clients and our suppliers also a good feeling uh, that they are dealing with the right partner and with the right company, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. um, and on top, uh, I think uh, this new standards um, gives then also, um, yeah, the uh, the direction uh, for everyone uh, that that uh, in future we would like to work. Um, in, in that kind of way and that, that we are not falling back in, in different structures and also showing uh, that even though you are um, in such a challenging business uh, environment, uh, you can do business successfully. 
mm -hmm. right? Um, mm -hmm. I mean, in, in, in all means, right? Not only uh, financial wise, but also environmental wise, uh, and also in the social aspects, uh, that this is possible, right? And mm -hmm. um, I think this is a good sign uh, towards uh, the outside, but also inside uh, in the company, um, that this is um, a, yeah, a possible um, solution. Yeah. So th I read that the Copomark standard is actually ensuring that uh, you you produce copper responsibly through the entire value chain. Um, but in addition to that, you have also set very ambitious goals for decarbonization and uh, fueling your own energy independence until 2030. Uh, do you think that sustainability can actually increase the company's competitiveness um, when it sits uh, in the core of this long-term strategy? Does it uh, so you mentioned the partners, you mentioned the customers. Um, how about employees? Is it important for employees also too that you are defending this value? Yes, very much. I think uh, that, that these days um, you cannot just uh, decide if you would like to join or if you would, uh, if you would like uh, not to join um, this this kind of train. I mean, this train uh, left uh, the um, the station, um, mm -hmm. and and uh, we are happy that uh, that the train left the station just to stay with this picture. Um, and uh, I, I firmly believe uh, that uh, that uh, this is uh, the way we should act in in future. And uh, starting with maybe the own employees, um, I think this is also important for them that they do understand um, uh, that that we are uh, working exactly in in this direction, mm -hmm. um, and uh, even in a more positive way, uh, a lot of. Um, new workforce is just because of that uh, deciding to work for us right mm -hmm. and i think this is a this is a very good sign that uh, mainly uh, youngsters um, are, are having a complete different um, let's say values uh, and and uh, decisive factors why they are um, willing to work for the one or for the other company and we do believe that this is also then the uh, then the um, the element and the argument um, how you can separate yourself from uh, from other uh, companies uh, you were asking about the um, renewables uh, yes uh, we started a program already years ago mm -hmm. I mean this is the uh, how to say a bit challenging factor that um, in Europe, also in Germany, Bulgaria, a lot of procedures uh, taking quite a long time. Uh, but anyhow, so we started uh, a couple of years already um, ago to to think uh, how to how to diversify uh, from uh, let's say dependencies uh, regarding um, energy sources because uh, obviously we are quite a big uh, consumer um, of uh, energy of mm -hmm. electricity. Um, so we started uh, and built already the first photovoltaic uh, plant um, one year ago, or one year ago it came into operation. We are now um, on the way that uh, two more uh, are in the pipeline, so we do hope that um, next year uh, we can we can start building them. And then also a fourth one uh, is uh, in the idea phase. Uh, we know already the location, uh, but because of some um, uh, some uh, issues uh, regarding the settling of the soil. Uh, we cannot start immediately. So this is one direction. For sure, energy saving is also a very important uh, point. Uh, so we are not just uh, uh, investing in uh, renewables, uh, but also in energy saving. So um, currently there's a, um, a process um, yeah, going on uh, that we are exchanging all our uh, small and uh, mid-size uh, voltage or mid um, low and mid voltage uh, engines uh, mm -hmm. which is the effect is uh, similar to one photovoltaic um, plant uh, we do invest in uh, in a new hydropower plant uh, okay. we are having a feasibility study about wind energy so we are really uh, thinking uh, and acting uh, now quite uh, fast 
fast because uh, the the current situation is also forcing us to be a bit more speedy than than before right i wouldn't say that we have been uh, very much relaxed about the projects but uh, i think now the new circumstances um, are giving everything uh, let's say a certain booster um, element i think we have also more awareness in the past couple of months because of the energy crisis and because of true. the dependencies that we had with with russia before that That's but I, I totally agree also with um, the what you mentioned about the mindset of the future generations i see that um, also um, in our team whenever we hire people they're really interested in the topic of sustainability we try to um, research all sorts of um, possible innovations uh, which are going to make uh, our world uh, less endangered by climate change uh, so i can definitely agree here with you that it's going to be an important factor also for attracting people but um, of course companies they don't do it only for that um, when you mentioned these investments they're all in bulgaria the photovoltaic the hydropower this is, this is uh, all for always bulgaria yeah. wow. that's that's true yeah so okay. this is uh, something what uh, we have on our on our list uh, mm -hmm. and uh, we are just uh, going to execute uh, mm. those projects yes. i think this is definitely giving a good example uh, also for other businesses in 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 our region um speaking of impact um, because this is also the main topic of uh, of the podcast, like what is the impact of, of the German companies in the Bulgarian business environment? And uh, I found a very interesting statistic that um, of the Institute for Market Economics, and they have calculated that one job at Aurobis Bulgaria creates five others in supporting industries. Um, having this uh, profound economic and social impact in the country. How do you think Aurobis is contributing to solving bigger demographic changes and um, challenges of Bulgaria to create uh, uh, and nurture local talent? Maybe also to attract talent from abroad. Yeah, I mean, this is, these are also figures um, we uh, have read about. Um, so having um, nearly 900 or a little bit more uh, own employees would make uh, close to 5,000 uh, mm. who are somehow involved in our uh, in our business uh, with whom we are working uh, and who are, uh, let's say, having a kind of symbiosis, symbiosis um, over there, which makes us for sure proud, but also um, responsible, right? So that we have mm. to take uh, not only care about um, uh, those um, uh, the own employees, but also um, also the other employees. Uh, by the way, we are also tr we are treating them uh, in the same way as us, right? Just to giving uh, just to give you a small side example. Uh, so if we are talking about about working um, uh, safety um, um, regarding uh, the working places, uh, so we are treating everyone the same, right? So mm -hmm. it doesn't matter if it's an own colleague or if it's a um, subcontractor who's working on our side, okay. uh, it's wow. being treated in the same way. So there are no two standards, right? I know that this is in Bulgaria quite important, mm -hmm. uh, that uh, there's no, uh, let's say, a light shadow that, uh, that they are implemented uh, two different uh, standards uh, mm -hmm. over here. So this is, this is a given fact. So therefore, the um, the effect uh, what we are doing right or wrong is, is quite big right um, mm. uh, if we are multiplying um, uh, then everything by five um, we do hope uh, that uh, coming from let's say the western world uh, where where certain standards has been established a little bit earlier uh, than over here um, is um, let's say what was at the beginning um, a bit uh, challenging for for those partners uh, working with not with all of them but uh, with some of them mainly uh, mid uh, size and smaller ones uh, but at the end uh, when we agreed uh, how to let's say uh, achieve that kind of standard um, uh, we do truly believe uh, that this is giving also a certain um, uh, benefit uh, for those companies because uh, they are not only working for us, they are also working for others uh, and uh, this is then also giving them an, an opportunity for them to work uh, for companies uh, like like Aurobus, right? Do, okay. uh, mm -hmm. Which have the same standards. So in, in this way uh, we do believe that uh, in general, step by step, uh, the the standards um, and, uh, and also accepting uh, the values um, will be spread out and uh, at a certain moment uh, 
um, there will be always a better place um, than than before. So, uh, therefore, we do hope that not only Arubus but also other international companies, but also now more and more Bulgarian companies, uh, living after those uh, and accepting those standards, uh, will make um, yeah the the business um, environment uh, let's say a better one than before. Mm. Our Rubies Bulgaria, you mentioned that before, has made a lot of investments in the region of Pirdopit um, Notice, uh, especially in terms of the well-being of the whole community. Can you tell me what have you learned about um, the foundations of building a strong community from the experience that you had so far? I'm sure that uh, the <clears throat> road has been also rocky at some time, so maybe <laughs> you can also share what didn't go well. Uh, but also what went well. How do you build a community around it? Because I don't think that you can um, have such a big um, scale of operations and not be part of the of the local community which is around that area. Yeah, um, so, so in the past we were sometimes talking about uh, being neighbors, being partners, mm -hmm. uh, but at the end I think this is not going uh, far enough, right? So we are just uh, one community, right? So the, let's say the municipalities uh, surrounding us, um, the place where we are uh, allowed to, to, to act, uh, this is just uh, one, uh, let's say family right so mm. working together with with all and you described it already with all the ups and downs right uh, mm. families also do have right we have to be to be honest in that one but um, but for us and also for the other bigger companies who are acting in in the Srednogorje region it is very important to to keep this region uh, alive right and mm. really alive means uh, that that everyone is feeling well over there so starting from the small kids uh, so means that we are that we are taking care um, of kindergartens of schools, um, also repairing here and there, uh, several things, um, so having really a focus uh, on them, but uh, also via the uh, the um, young students, uh, via those who are uh, in the best working age, but also then uh, afterwards uh, about retired people. So you need the full scale um, of, um, let's say, full functioning uh, municipality or uh, full functioning uh, region. So let, let's uh, give you one example, uh, without a region hospital I think uh, it is completely um, yeah, absurd to, to think that this is a long-term uh, region uh, where uh, you can live in a healthy status because it's every, if everyone has to go to Panagurishte or to uh, to Etropolo or to, to Sofia for, for some let's say normal uh, standard uh, medical treatment this is mm -hmm. not uh, this is not uh, realistic right so therefore um, we do have uh, certain focus areas uh, where we do believe that these functional needs to be um, in um, in a region right uh, mm -hmm. to to mm -hmm. to have it uh, running for sure there are some sometimes um, let's say um, not I wouldn't say a misunderstanding but uh, for sure we have got uh, different targets uh, the municipality is sometimes um, um, having different priorities um, according uh, what what needs to be supported and we do have uh, other priorities uh, mm -hmm. but if you're in a let's say frequent uh, and in a healthy uh, communication and exchange um, I think uh, and this has been proven in the past uh, that we will always find uh, a solution and a consensus because um, at the end of the day we are working for the same uh, for the same goal right uh, that uh, that we do have a healthy um, a community uh, in, in all means and uh, that um, we have then also a healthy um, economical life because um, the one is not working uh, without the other ones. But uh, you have said before that what you like about people in Bulgaria is their craving for learning new things. Um, how do you foster this uh, this culture in Orubis? How do you set uh, a culture where people can learn new things, can um, develop also personally? Um, how do you facilitate this knowledge exchange in the company? Can you share maybe some good practices here? Yeah, we have. Um, for sh first of all, um, I think it's good uh, that uh, that Aarhus Bulgaria is part, uh, as I said in the um, at the beginning, mm. uh, part of a bigger network. So there's always uh, the possibility um, if you are uh, developing or if you would like to develop, because uh, there are also people who just would like to have a regional, uh, let's say, focus, which is also fine with us. Um, but there's uh, at least the opportunity that you can also develop in, in different uh, geographical directions, but also. Uh, 
uh, in different uh, technological directions because mm -hmm. we are not uh, having here everything uh, what uh, the group offers uh, in Bulgaria available, so um, in other plants in Germany, Belgium, uh, North America. Uh, just to give you one, uh, some examples, uh, there's always an opportunity. So this is, uh, let's say, first of all, I think important uh, for employees uh, that there is room uh, for development, right, if they would like to go for it. Um, what we are doing locally is, um, first of all, I'm, I'm, I'm quite proud that we do have a full function, um, let's say, entity over here with, uh, with a lot of, um, a lot of departments um, which um, contribute to the success of the, of the local entity. So we do have an, an R&D department, we do have, a, let's say, a big lab uh, department, we do have an, uh, what we are calling AOS, that's uh, an improvement uh, department. Okay. Okay. Um, where you can just uh, bring yourself in and um, and develop new ideas. Uh, we do have an automation department. We have got. Uh, we are focusing on digitalization. I mean, these are all yeah topics um, where you can find uh, yourself and uh, where you can develop yourself uh, and and also contribute um, with your. Um, let's say abilities with your tools uh, to the success uh, of the of the entire um, company. Oh, yes, <clears throat> well, I guess the digital transformation is uh, impacting your industry as well. So this kind of upskilling is going to be critical for um, also the future success of the company. Okay. <clears throat> That's true. I mean, also artificial intelligence and all these, uh, let's say, buzzwords. Okay. Uh, we are we are also taking care. Okay. Uh, we do have uh, already since a couple of years uh, some, let's say, electronic bots uh, running uh, around, um, taking care of of, uh, of making it easier um, uh, to to handle documents, uh, mm -hmm. easier to evaluate um, our incoming materials. Uh, but I have to say that this is, this is not a threat, right? This is, uh, in my opinion, just a support because uh, at the end of the day, uh, the human being uh, will be always uh, necessary to do so. But, but on the other hand, it is also important that some, let's say, standard and a bit boring uh, activities can also be eliminated, right? And they can mm. be done much better by, by, uh, by uh, such uh, solutions. And then human beings can just concentrate uh, on, on, let's say, a bit more innovative uh, activities, right? So, and uh, from that perspective, as I said, uh, not a threat for me, just uh, a very intelligent support. I want to speak about um, your your other cap. Yeah. <laughs> so you're currently serving as president of the German Bulgarian Chamber of uh, Industry and Commerce, actually for the second time, already twice. That's your second mandate. Um, how would you describe the contribution of the German businesses to the quality of the business environment in Bulgaria in general? Not only of, of Rubies, but also maybe accumulating uh, also the other businesses which are members of of the chamber. Yeah, this is um, more or less a bigger scale what uh, what Arubis is doing, right? Mm -hmm. um, so, um, uh, as as you know, uh, the the German Bulgarian Chamber is uh, the biggest chamber in uh, in Bulgaria, yes. uh, with uh, with quite um, a lot of a um, lot of members, um, and um, yeah, this this uh, German business community in both ways, uh, I mean uh, into Germany but also into Bulgaria, um, we do believe uh, that is contributing quite a lot uh, regarding the business climate um, and uh, also uh, the business standards, right? Mm. Um, I have to be honest here as well, this is not only valid for, for German companies, but if we are talking about the German uh, Bulgarian Chamber, uh, mainly it is um, uh, about Germany, uh, but also the other countries, uh, the European countries are, are contributing uh, quite um, a lot uh, to, to, uh, to that. And um, I also do believe that the Germans and Bulgarians are, are fitting quite nicely together. Okay. Uh, so there's not, um, it's not a kind of arrogant, uh, let's say, teaching uh, how things uh, should be done in a, in a better way. Uh, this is at least uh, how I feel it and how I see it um, uh, with uh, those uh, members who are uh, quite active here uh, in Bulgaria. Um, and, uh, and it's also showing um, that these companies are not jumping into Bulgaria and then after a couple of uh, years they are jumping out again. I mean, most of them you will find here for years uh, and also those who are uh, recently entered Bulgaria as far as we can see it um, they have the same 
idea, the same uh, strategy like Arubis, uh, to stay here for long, right? Uh, I mean, sometimes it takes a bit longer for Germans uh, to make a decision, but when the decision is taken, um, I do believe that they are uh, that they are in. firm and they are full in, and that uh, okay. they are not, uh, let's say, um, playing around. Uh, then, uh, then they are just uh, they have a they have a clear mind, uh, they have a clear business plan, um, uh, why they came, and uh, and then to execute it. I wanted to ask you. Um, after almost a decade in the leadership role here in Bulgaria, what have you learned for yourself? And has the experience in Bulgaria changed somehow your view on life? And uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, very, uh, let's say, challenging question. Uh, <laughs> maybe starting with the with the later one, uh, if it has changed my life, this is a bit uh, difficult to answer, right? Because uh, I do not have parallel life. So I cannot just say what would have happened if I would have stayed uh, since 2014 in Germany and uh, about this development. But I'm happy uh, about uh, the opportunity the company gave me just mm -hmm. uh, to, uh, to take over the role over here and also happy that uh, the chamber gave me the opportunity to to, um, to become their president, um, but uh, but I think this is um, like uh, the the lifelong learning, um, let's say, a slogan uh, that uh, that in a different environment uh, with different uh, impressions and also different. Uh, let's say kicks you are you are receiving um, being out of your comfort zone right because uh, I mean even though I said Bulgaria is a lovely country uh, I mean the the um, Kyrillic alphabet and also the Bulgarian language is for sure uh, already a natural uh, <laughs> let's say I wouldn't say enemy uh, but uh, at least a, a natural um, let's say challenge uh, for for someone uh, as a, uh, coming uh, coming into the uh, country, Did but also enriching. The other point is uh, that if you're really geographically then moving your your point, um, it's also giving you a complete different perspective, right? Because. Um, Beforehand, uh, I was mainly looking from the west into the east. Um, you're making up your mind. Um, you do believe that uh, with listening, reading, uh, listening to some, uh, reading a little bit, uh, that you know uh, enough uh, about it. But now being, let's say, in a little bit more in the east and looking to the west, um, you have got a much better understanding, right, for for both sides. Uh, What as has well. changed, for instance, in your perspective? How do you see now this, the, the 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 situation differently? Now, first of all, I have to say that uh, I didn't know uh, a lot about Bulgaria, right? Mm -hmm. I, uh, I know about the existence, uh, but uh, as a country uh, and um, as a, a place for, for making business was completely unknown to me mm -hmm. before mm -hmm. uh, our company acquired um, a, um, at that time a Comerio and then integrated uh, um, then this company into their into their network. You learn a lot about, of, uh, let's say, the also the way of working, right? which is also a bit different uh, to the German way of working. And mm -hmm. I think that this combination uh, makes us also so successful, right? Because uh, Germans are really um, sometimes a little bit stubborn and, mm -hmm. uh, and not really flexible. Um, the Bulgarians are, in my opinion, uh, it is sometimes a little bit too flexible. But if you are combining it, I think it will be, it's, 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 it's a great um, it's a great team uh, what you can uh, mm -hmm. what you can build uh, and you can have uh, really the best out of let's call it uh, out of both both worlds right yes. and and um, if you are yeah really have the let's say the same goals then then we are coming back to the beginning uh, let's say a long term strategy which which everyone binds in and can then also pay in uh, this uh, gives then um, yeah a great uh, successful um, um, let's say community, right? Which makes a lot of fun on the, let's say, on the daily work, but also on the on the long term, because everyone would like to have also a certain certainty uh, what is going to come in the future. I'm curious about you know this um, you know integration process of you here in Bulgaria. Can you maybe share a story of a moment where you um, you know felt like uh, you're appreciating the the Bulgarian culture and in you know, the, maybe also a business aspect, the way that we do business, where you say, okay, this is smart, or this is, this is nice, it makes me feel good, or this is also a thing that makes me feel home, in a way. <clears throat> yeah, this is an um, interesting, uh, interesting question, um, and we have uh, to, to think a bit. Um, For instance, but, yeah. I, yeah, I know that you're hiking, so obviously yeah. you do um, kind of uh, appreciate the nature here and uh, 
the opportunities, you know, to yeah, very yeah. much. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's that's true, and uh, I'm doing that also with Bulgarian and also with uh, foreign uh, colleagues uh, mm -hmm. all together. Uh, but um, but I'm also uh, active uh, here and there uh, with uh, with colleagues regarding uh, regarding cycling uh, from mm -hmm. from the company. So which gives uh, me as well uh, the feeling that I'm at least uh, for this. Uh, moments uh, part of uh, of the team and uh, i also do hope that at least uh, it's from from my perspective uh, that uh, that then we are that then we are just uh, let's say on a different um, how to say different level right so that uh, that uh, when we are doing sport together it's not that the boss is uh, let's say doing mm. sports with uh, his employees but that we are really um, really the same and yeah. uh, and alike so this is uh, something what was at the beginning here i think a little bit uh, is um, challenging for both for both sides, yes. right? Um, but uh, I mean, being here now uh, since um, since uh, eight years, uh, I think that everyone knows uh, how um, he she can 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 treat me and uh, can be uh, sure that um, yeah that I'm I'm just part of the team and uh, without the team uh, I can cannot achieve anything over here, right? And uh, this is I think the important uh, message. I think this is also a great message where we can, uh, where we finish. So I think you really nailed it with <laughs> your last sentence and, and the last message and, and that you, that you just conveyed. And I want to thank you for this conversation. I also want to thank you that you tried, you know, you left me open up a bit your, your maybe private, um, life and, you know, the private aspects of, uh, of you as, as a, as someone who has moved to Bulgaria, who has, totally probably adapted his life to the way of living here and uh, thank you also for um, sharing a bit more about the vision of all of this thank you thanks a lot my pleasure